Hey guys, I have a tutorial today on how to get rid of an annoying watermark from pictures. So here is what the final product looks like, and now I will take you through the process with the original photo. So just bring in... Okay, so here's the original picture, and see it has this really annoying watermark right here, right? So by using the clone stamp tool in Adobe Photoshop, I'm using Photoshop CS4, but this will work on any version of Photoshop, I do believe. Just go over here and to your tools palette and select the clone stamp tool. Once you have this selected, you can go ahead and zoom in by using Control plus on your keyboard. And you see where the text is, and then Hold down Alt and it will bring up this sort of crosshairs. Once you have these crosshairs, just select an area on the screen where the watermark is not, which has similar colorings to what the watermark has, and click there. And then when you find the part with the watermark, you can start to just paint over it with, that, with the color that we selected from over here. And then you can just keep doing this and make sure it looks nice. And you can keep grabbing new areas so it doesn't look all like the same exact thing. So it actually looks like the sky. And you can just go through and touch up the picture. And then go down in the bottom area, get that orange, uh, I guess it's a sandstone rock reflection or something. And just touch up this area. And Really, that's all there is to it. I'll just finish doing this here, so you can see how relatively painless this is. Now, just want to make sure that everybody knows this is um, watermarks are there for a reason, so you don't reproduce or take credit for somebody else's work. But um, so this is just for educational purposes. The only reason I want to do this is so I can set this picture as my background. So. Um, not really breaking the copyright issues or anything like that by doing this touch up on this. So we're almost done here. That looks pretty good. The water reflection looks a little bit weird, so I'll just fill in this area with some blur reflections. And really that's all there is to it. I mean you can see that it looks pretty decent now if you zoom back out. You can hardly tell where the touch-ups happen. Of course, over here in the sky, it does look a little bit weird, so I'm just go ahead and grab some of this and lighten it up a little bit. Let's see how that turns out. Oh, it looks a little bit funky. And there you have it. That's pretty much all there is to it. That's how you can remove a watermark relatively easily using Adobe Photoshop. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you at all, then go ahead and subscribe. Rate the video uh, 1 to 5, depending on how much it helps. And I will see you guys around.